Hello and welcome to the 12th round of the 2016 PCC Light Series season here at the Dover International Raceway in Dover, Delaware. Now starting on the pole is Justin King who took the pole over Sam Burkhart there on his outside. And in row number two it's Dustin Oliver and uh, Lenore Scurry takes the outside of row number two in a good qualifying effort. Zach Meyer uh, starting in fifth place participated in the PCC Trucks race which just ended. In that race uh, Vinny LaBeouf actually dropped out the Vinny LaBeouf, the championship leader uh, in that series coming into this race dropped out due to mechanical issues about uh, halfway through the race and that race was actually marred with a pretty bad accident as Lucas Davidson hits the apron shoots up the track and gets hit by JC Carpenter there uh, many other trucks involved looked like that was uh, the Ike Durbin truck of Isaac Michaels there as well and Davidson would end up on his roof uh, he would not be immediate he has not been cleared from the infield care center as of now uh, the race ended about an hour ago, so uh, concerned about his condition, but Ryan Jeffries would take the win over Mason Yokoyama and uh, Sergei Yakovsky there, and would take over the championship lead uh, in the truck series uh, at the end of that race. And uh, as we take a look at the last row, uh, locked out by Tauger Racing Unit yet again. And with that, Justin King and Sam Burkhart lead the field to the green flag. Coming down the front straightaway, Justin King gets a good jump over Burkhart there on the outside. Looks like he's going to bring that bottom line along with him. Dustin Oliver there, uh, Zach Meyer, and Kelly Thomas in the 72. And uh, they're going to take advantage of Burkhart dropping back. And Justin King will hold the lead here coming through turn uh, into turn number three. And is going to extend his lead as he comes through turn number four. Now these cars, uh, this is one of the longer tracks that the PCC Light Series runs at, and uh, they're putting on quite a show here today. As you can see, they're too wide all through the field. Uh, this is looking like a super speedway race that you'd see at Talladega or Daytona or something, uh, one of those uh, super speedway tracks that the Cup Series runs at. Uh, it's only a mile long, Dover is, but uh, these cars are only topping out at about 110 miles per hour, and unsurprisingly, at the start of the race, uh, by lap number six, the Tauger Racing Unit has already lost the draft. Uh, Matt Tauger and Trek Tauger, uh, the brothers, have lost the draft and they're uh, quickly losing time to the leaders. Uh, somewhat unsurprisingly, they've been on the bottom of the uh, team table all season. Uh, Dean Wormer is also going to lose the draft here. Uh, fairly early on, uh, just a couple minutes into the race, you see there uh, the pack's already starting to go three wide in the back with Kelly Thomas and Roman Carpon there as this is Greg Maddox who's taking the lead, uh, driving for Winslot Motorsports. And he's got the, that's that's the Grand Strand teammates right behind him. They're having a strong run. Uh, Ron Yave and Josiah Hofak are there. Uh, but Greg Maddox has come to play and uh, he's got a very strong car here today. As Chris Benson is back in the number 28. Norton Pipe is uh, sponsoring a few more races for him. And uh, that's good to see because uh, if, if Norton Pipe hadn't jumped on board, he would have honestly dropped out of the sport. Uh, but it's good to see some funding step up for a young, talented driver. And it's good to see him back in the sport here in the light series. He won a championship, uh, I believe, back in the uh, late 2000s. It's Jeff Fisher, who is third in the championship coming into this race, takes over the lead over the 964 car. I believe that is uh, Daniel Bouchard, or Ryan Pritchard, one of the two. Uh, the Genesis Engineering crew having a good day as well. Syzygy Engineering uh, team up at the front of the field. Uh, they are a hot shoe for making... Oh, we've got a wreck there. Tiffany Matthews got hooked around by uh, Sam Burkhart, and we've got chaos, as it looks like multiple cars are spun. We've got a car embedded in the inside retaining wall there. Uh, multiple cars involved trying to avoid uh, what turned out to be a pretty small accident as Sam Burkhart just got pinched up against the wall by Tiffany Matthews there. Just an inexperienced move by Matthews, and uh, we're going to see, oh, we've got Kelly Thomas getting hooked around there by uh, Zach Meyer, and she's going to slide up the track. Good avoidance by Sam Burkhart there. Uh, that is the makings of a championship driver as we go on board with Dima Van Hall here. And it looks like he got tagged and got embedded on the inside retaining wall. That's going to be the end of the, end of the day for the 191 car. And this is Alex Constantine, who we're going on board now, the Team Canada car, and he he swerved and hit the uh, the inside pit wall. That was a bit strange. Uh, he got spun around there and would keep going without too much damage. And uh, 
he'd be on the tail end of the lead lap at the start of the restart, which uh, Jeff Fisher would lead the field and immediately put him a lap down. Wow, uh, that that hit to the inside wall really did a lot of damage to that 18 car, and you can see just how slow he is. As Fergal Sheedy is up to second place, Dustin Oliver is going to take a look on the inside, helped with uh, Carter Fitzgerald there, and uh, coming to the restart, we actually had a car slide through the pits. Uh, Lucien Ekdal Jr. lost the brakes on that car, would stall in the pits and lose several laps, and Casey Lester pulled his car into the pits under caution and couldn't get the car refired. So Casey Lester is going to drop out of this one early, and unfortunately, uh, they didn't take the car to the garage. They were trying to fix it all that time, but uh, that car would not see the track again as Dustin Oliver, second place in points by a considerable margin, uh, takes over the lead. He's trying to close the gap between himself and Sam Burkhart, and uh, it's been slow going for him to do that because Burkhart has just been on top of his game. A lot of people think that Burkhart's going to be up in the Cup Series next season, uh, myself included, and signs point that he's probably going to take over the 51 car at uh, season's end. Uh, for Johnson Racing. Speaking of Burkhart, he uh, pit under that last caution. He fell all the way back into the mid-20s, and it's been slow going for him making his way up towards the front, but he's picking off cars one by one with help uh, by Matt Beck as, oh, we've got a problem with uh, Jeff Fisher. He's going to pull into the pits, and he's going to have to... They're going to go under the hood on that car, and he's going to lose about five laps in the process. They would get that car fixed and send him back out on the track, but it looks like a broken oil line on the 27 is going to put him back a few laps. Uh, Greg Maddox making a move around the inside of Lenore Scurry there. Uh, Greg Maddox having a very strong run here today. Uh, I believe this is the most we've seen him up front all season, and it's a good sign for him, uh, the PCC Cup Series veteran. He's been in the uh, Cup Series since 2011, dropped back down to the Light Series with wins a lot when they elected to go down. Uh, to the light series at the end of the 2014 season. Uh, Sam Burkhart has made his way back to the lead, and the championship leader is continuing to extend his lead over all of his rivals and uh, really pulling away. Look at that gap he's pulled on Fergal Sheedy. Uh, this is the second pack behind the main pack. Jeff Fisher is leading that with the Tauger Racing Unit cars and the Team Canada cars, although it looks like Alex Posington is falling way back. Uh, JF Davila, two-time winner there, running with the Tauger Racing Unit cars. Uh, quite a ways back, and Dean Wormer and uh, Gabriel Messina are getting ready to go a lap down. And Tiffany Matthews there, who took a bit of damage uh, under that last yellow. So, tough break for Matthews. She's really had a rough season. As all of these cars that are going a lap down get out of the way of the leaders, doing a pretty good job of being fairly gracious back markers, although now they're jamming up the high line. Uh, Kelly Thomas and Sam Burkhart there. I uh, can't imagine they're too thrilled with that. Now here's one of the few cars that's been able to challenge Greg Max at the front of the field, and that's Damon Jones, as he takes over the bottom there from Roman Carpon and uh, continues to hold the lead. He's had an excellent job uh, here this season. Uh, his team, DJ Motorsports, elected to drop from the Cup Series to the Light Series at the end of last season. And uh, so far that move has paid off. They've been in the top 10 all season, and it looks like we had a car pulling into their pit box there. Let we're going to take a look at that here in a second. And that was uh, that was Justin King, the pole sitter, who blew up. Uh, Justin King, the pole sitter, is done for the day. And they're going to retire that car. Unfortunate for him. He was having a very strong run. And it looks like Fergal Sheedy is going to have a problem here on lap number 46. Uh, pulling that car to the inside. Uh, can he limp it back to the pits? I don't think he'll be able to. And unfortunately, he's going to stop on track. And I believe he's going to draw the second caution of the day uh, with about 15 minutes to go in the race. Uh, now, under caution, we had a bit of an incident here between Gabe Messina and uh, Dean Wormer. They're side by side. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, Gabe Messina just ran into that wall. And that's going to cause a bunch of damage. Greg Maddox is in it. Tauger Racing Unit cars. Chris Benson. Uh... Looks like Isaac Parsons there. We're going to go on board Gabe Messina and see what happened. What on earth was he doing? It looked like he tried to move up and... Uh, why didn't he have any clearance there? What what was going on there? Let's take a look from Austin Sanders who was behind. He tried to move over and Dean Wormer just let, didn't let him through. Didn't give him any room to move over. And that's going to be the end of the day for Austin Sanders and Gabe Messina. Uh, 
very strange incident. Uh, I imagine the PCC Lights official is going to have to have a word with uh, Wormer and Messina about that. That was uh, really strange as uh, Damon Jones continues to lead after the restart. We've got one of the Genesis Motorsports cars, the 964 on the bottom there. I think that's Ryan Pritchard. And uh, Kelly Thomas has taken over second place as she's having a strong run here today. Uh, followed by Zach Meyer there as J.C. Carpenter moving his way towards the front with just 10 minutes to go. Uh, he was involved in that accident with Lucas Davidson. He uh, speared Davidson as he came up on track and was tipped over. Uh, still no word on Davidson's medical condition, but J.C. Carpenter uh, escaped with no injuries. He was immediately cleared from the infield care center after that wreck, and he looks like uh, he's going to be a challenge here, uh, challenger here late as he... Uh, Trying to get around Sam Burkhart there for the lead, but second place, Dover, Dover has always been one of his stronger tracks, and now he makes a move to the inside, and uh, he's going to take over the lead here. So after uh, being in a violent accident and dropping out of the truck race, uh, JC Carpenter has got himself in a position where he can win this one, uh, and that would be huge for circle track racing as he gives up the bottom there to Roman Carpont, but he would continue to hold the lead as this is the second pack. Uh, Josiah Hofacker doing a good job here with uh, Isaac Parsons, uh, the Tiger Racing Unit team. That's J.F. Davila there, and you've got uh, Jeff Fisher who's five laps down as Chris Benson is going a lap down now. Uh, Carter Fitzgerald is going to take over the lead from Damon Jones as it looked like uh, J.C. Carpenter dropped back a bit, and uh, Alex Pausington also going another lap down. Uh, but Chris Benson, uh, tough break being involved in that. Oh, we've got a bit of shoving uh, between the 972 and the 18 there. And oh, Matt Beck is blown up. Matt Beck, who is having a pretty strong run, he was in the lead pack all day, is going to drop out with engine issues late in the going. Uh, just a few laps from the finish. A tough break for the rookie, who's been uh, pretty exceptional this season. He almost got a win at Carbondale. And now we've got the Sam Brown racing cars 1-2 with just about five minutes to go. Uh, as... As we get towards the end of these 45-minute races, these guys always seem to find their way towards the front. And uh, Lenore Scurry's been pushing them, so look at this separation that they've got over the 964 there. And uh, Roman Carpon having a good run. Uh, Lucy Nectal Jr. is multiple laps down there. And Alex Posington getting ready to go a lap down again uh, with about two minutes to go. As that's J.C. Carpenter in the lead, Greg Maddox getting ready to go a lap down. And we've got some contact there. Uh, Posington not being a very nice lap car as he holds the middle line up. Uh, Maddox being a lot more cautious as, uh, as we approach the end of this race, just a couple minutes to go. Uh, Benson moves out of the way and we've got JC Carpenter in the lead. Uh, Sam Burkhart right behind him. Uh, looks like he might be able to make a move here as uh, we've just got about a minute or so left in this race. JC Carpenter holding the bottom over Sam Burkhart. But it looks like Burkhart's going to have a head of steam here uh, coming onto the front stretch, and he's going to fake high. He's going low. Sam Burkhart looks like he's going to try and take over the lead here with help from Lenore Scurry and Zach Meyer. That's going to leave J.C. Carpenter out to dry as now time has expired, coming around to take the white flag. Sam Burkhart holding the outside, uh, trying to get some drafting help from Lenore Scurry, but Zach Meyer there on the bottom with Ron Yave in tow. And uh, that's Dustin Oliver back there as coming through turn number two onto the backstretch. Uh, he's going to block high, but looks like uh, Zach Meyer is going low. Does he have the help? Uh, looks like Dustin Oliver there on the bottom. And coming through turn number three, we've got side-by-side -side for the lead. And a last lap, last corner pass is going to do it for Zach Meyer as he comes around the front stretch, and he's going to take the win at the Dover International Raceway. Uh, Excellent job by the 43 team and very well executed to get him his third win of the season. Taking a look at the rest of the top 20, Sam Brown racing teammates Dustin Oliver and Sam Burkhart finished second and third, uh, solidifying their grasp at the top of the team standings. Kelly Thomas fourth place, good run for her, and Bluto Belushi gets a top five. I believe that is his first since Las Vegas at the start of the season. Ron Yave in sixth place has been a very strong run. Uh, double top 20 for Grand Strand Racing with uh, Josiah Hofacker there in 16th place. They need this finish if they're going to get out of relegation. Uh, Damon Jones in 7th place. Good run for him. Same thing with Lenore Scurry and J.C. Carpenter. 9th place after uh, being involved in that 
horrifying accident in the truck race. Uh, Ryan Pritchard and Daniel Bouchard. Genesis Racing gets a double top 13. Roman Carpont has a good run in 11th. And Carter Fitzgerald in 12th place. Good run for her. Uh, Matt Tauger and Trek Tauger proving that Tauger Racing Unit can hang around and be at the end of these races in the top 20. Uh, that's actually going to help them quite a bit in the promotion relegation struggle as they've actually made up quite a bit of ground on some of their rivals. Uh, JF Davila 15th. Isaac Parsons, double top 20 for Circle Track. Patrick O'Hannigan, didn't talk about him at all. And Greg Maddox finished in 20th place, first car one lap down. And now taking a look at the points, Sam Burkhart's lead has been cut down to under a race. Uh, Dustin Oliver in second place, Sam Brown Racing has locked out the top two in the driver's standings. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be their season to lose as Jeff Fisher sits third, Lenore Scurry fourth. Damon Jones vaults up to fifth over Casey Lester who had problems early on. James Beverly down to 7th, uh, Lucien Ekdahl Jr. in 8th place having a strong season as well as Matt Beck in ninth, despite his uh, problems today. Greg Maddox Singh in 10th place looking very strong for Winslow Motorsports. Uh, they're eyeing a promotion spot and I believe they're currently in one. Isaac Parsons sits 11th having a strong year. Justin King drops to 12th after blowing up early. Uh, Denny Adams in 13th, JF Davila 14th, uh, winner at Chicago and Mid-Ohio in 14th place in the standings. Carter Fitzgerald, 15th. Daniel Bouchard, 16th. Patrick O'Hannigan, who won at Green Valley, is 17th. Alex Pausington, 18th. Ryan Pritchard, 19th. And Roman Carpon ekes his way into the top 20 after a strong 11th place effort today.